Hey, what's up? This is Dr. John Deloney with the Ramsey Network. We're back answering emails about anxiety, about your relationships. And these are your emails that you emailed in at ashjohn at ramseysolutions.com. Keep them coming. Awesome how many emails we're getting, man. They are coming in and coming in. Um, there's a lot of people out there struggling, including you, including me. So let's do this together. All right, so here's the email. Hello, Mr. John Deloney. What's up? Good to talk to you. If you get a chance to read this email, I truly appreciate your time and effort. That's what I'm here for. Appreciate you. I'm 27, married with two children, 17 months and nine years old. Whoo, that's a gap. I'm very unhappy. I have no motivation, no desire in my marriage, and my husband and I are not compatible, nor am I attracted to him. I have been married since the age of 19. It was rushed. I feel awful about the fact that I would mess up my family and our goals. For years, I've been going through emotional and mental roller coasters on this topic. I'm at the point of angry, depression, misplaced reactions, and just plain meanness towards my family, especially my daughter. My husband is a great person. He's fine with an unhappy marriage because he says he can work with it. I know all the information isn't here, but please help. All right, so a few things. Number one, thank you for being vulnerable and for sending in this email. This is a lot and it feels heavy. Every alarm you have is going off, right? Number two, based on your age, looks like you got pregnant at 18. My guess is you had a picture of what your life was gonna look like, right? You had a job you were gonna have, some husband you were gonna have, you were gonna have kids, the house was gonna look this way, and you had these pictures, whether you were, whether you were intentional about them or that they came from the magazines and the home you grew up in and the internet sites you went to, whatever it was, you had a picture. And now you're 27, knocking on 30, you have a toddler, a 10-year-old, a husband who's a great guy. He's a great guy. You're just not attracted to him anymore. You don't feel committed to this thing. You don't have any motivation. And that tells me you're suffering from grief. You're just grieving that here you are, almost 30, and the picture that is your life looks different from your old picture. So you've got two choices. Number one, like you mentioned, you can blow it all up. You can decide, you know what? This first picture that I had in my head of this particular husband and these particular kids and this particular house and this particular town, you can nuke everything you've got and go chase that. And what I always tell people who choose that option is this. No matter what new job you get, no matter what new partner you get, no matter what new town you live in, the worst part about that decision is that you go with you. And if you haven't grieved the loss of this picture, if you haven't grieved the fact that you didn't get a quote unquote normal 18 to 22 year old life, whatever that is, if you gr haven't grieved the fact that, man, you got a husband and a couple of great kids it just came differently than you had dr drawn it up. If you haven't dealt with any childhood shame or parents who were mad that you got pregnant or whatever, if you haven't grieved that, wherever you end up, this unmotivated, unhappy, lack of desire person is going to show up there too. The other option is this. You're married to a great guy. Sounds like you love him. You've got a 10-year-old and a 17-month-old. You are in it. You are potty training and brain training, right? I've got a 10-year-old. I get it, right? You've got a husband who loves you, who has just said, you know what? Even if this relationship isn't perfect, I want to stay with you because I love you, because I love our kids. You can work with that. So what I want you to do is to look around your current environment and say, you know what? My picture is different, but it's not a bad picture. My kitchen feels like it's on fire, but when I wave the smoke away, it's not. I a guy who loves me. I got two healthy kids. I want to work on finding motivation. I want to work on finding desire. I'm going to get with a counselor or a couple of close friends that I trust and not folks who just read Pinterest quotes, but folks who are going to hold me accountable to my life. And I'm going to slowly begin to change my thoughts and my actions. I'm going to start looking in the mirror and saying, I'm a person worthy of love. I'm a person worthy of dealing with historical traumas in my life. I'm a person worthy of getting a good job. Just because you have a 17-month-old and a 9-year-old doesn't mean that your dreams are over. 
and you're going to look at a husband that maybe you don't feel attracted to him right now, but there's something attractive about him that led you to have two kids with him, to stay with him for this long, even if it was rushed. I don't care what happened in the past. We're talking about what tomorrow's going to look like. So I want you to get with a counselor, get with a couple of good friends, and begin to draw a picture. Don't write words. Draw an actual picture of what tomorrow could look like with these same two kids, with this same husband. Draw a picture of something you can live into. What is happiness, what is joy gonna look like? And I want you to do the transformative work, not on your kitchen. You don't need a new kitchen. You need a new chef. You need to believe that you are a person of value, worth believing in, worth loving, and then you're gonna sit down with your husband, you're gonna share this picture, and you're gonna tell him, I want to live into this. I want this to be a great marriage. I refuse to have a bad marriage. I refuse to have bad sex. I refuse to have kids that other people don't like being around. And that change starts with you. And I believe in you. And you're in a funky moment. You're in a funky moment. But the light on the other end of this is bright. And it starts with you deciding, I want to be whole and I want to be well and I want to be loved. Thank you for being vulnerable and for writing this. We're all rooting for you, and I hope you'll email me back in a few months, six months, and let me know how great things have turned around. This is Dr. John Deloney with Ramsey Solutions. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, send it to your friends, email me at askjohn at ramseysolutions.com, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.